No, by this time you are thinking that you're doing nothing but teaching the Bible I'm about at my end but although I hope you are learning about the Freemasons and the Illuminati I if, if you want me to teach you the things that they do you actually really do not want me to teach you this yes I know them and if you want to follow them, go for it. But you're going to be just like the woman. You're going to be standing in front of him all by yourself. And you're going to be judged by what you do. And I don't want to be in that situation. I can make you cry. Make you what the Bible calls faint. Commit suicide, which yes, there's going to be people do it because they see what's coming on the earth. And believe it or not, the movie Purge is coming to pass. It's prophecy, and they cannot do a thing until they tell you. But you have to have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. This is no laughing matter. This is not stuff. This is not something that cannot be seen or put aside. Your soul, your life, your, your sanity dwells on what the Word of God is saying. And I cannot stress this enough. Jesus Christ loves you. You could take the person that is closest to you, your child, your husband, your mother, your brother, your sister, whoever, I don't care. And it will out-talk them every time, a billion times, upon billions of times. Because he cares. He created you. And he loves you. I most definitely cannot express this enough. I cannot put it into words. There is no words that can tell you how much that this God that we have loves you. Let's go on. 11. And she said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, to her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. So when you look at Jesus face to face and eye to eye, don't sin no more. Because you don't want to commit adultery with another idol. Can you understand? Yes, I know it takes a man and a woman. Let's go back to the Garden of Eden. And there's a lot of children that grow up. You got um, Isha, I was saying, Ishmael and Isaac. There's you another story you can look at. All right. Then spoke Jesus again and said, and saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. You will be able to see, really, what life has to offer you here on earth. Because he will open your eyes. And the ones that want to... Do what they do, let them do what they do. And they'll all fall in the ditch. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest rec record of thyself. And thy record is not true. There we go. We have got people saying, You're not telling the truth. You're lying. 
I am bearing the truth as much as <clears throat> Jesus will let me open up and tell you. Because like I said, there's more. I can't do it. I cannot. You can't, you can't bear it. And Jesus answered and said, Thy bear record of thyself. Thy record is true. For I know whence I came and where I go. But ye cannot tell whence I come and where I go. Ye judge after the flesh. I judge no man. Now Jesus does not judge man. He judge your spirit on what you do with your spirit. Can, does that make sense? I hope so. If not, I'll try to do something else if somebody tells me, yes, I want to know more about the Spirit. I'll tell you. Alright, and yes, yet, if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. It is also written, in your law, that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bears witness of myself, and the Father that seek me beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy Father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my Father. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. These words spoke Jesus in the tre treasury as he taught in the temple. And no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Jesus unto them, I go my way, and you shall seek me. And shall die in your sins. Whether I go, you can't you, you cannot come. In other words, I know who your father is, and you cannot step foot in heaven to look upon the Father because of who you are. Then said the Jew, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whether I go, you cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I am from above. What were you? Oh. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. Now there's a whole bunch here. Where is the serpent beneath? Where is the Creator God above? Where is uh, the serpent's kingdom at? He rules this kingdom called earth. It is of this world. Alright, here's Jesus going on. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. They will not repent for anything. For if you believe not that I am he, he shall die in his sin, in your sin. You're going to, if you don't believe who I am, then you're going to still die in your sin, and you're going to go back to look at your father. Now remember, that in, Jer in Jeremiah, that the creator God, he washed the blood off of Jerusalem. Oh, I gotta go find that one. I know this is long, and I'm sorry, but I wish I could sum it down, but really I cannot. Alright. Son of man calls Jer Jerusalem to know her abomination, and say, Thus saith the Lord God to Jerusalem, Thy birth and thine activity is of the land of Canaan. Here we got Cain again. Thy father was an Amorite. And thy mother was a Hittite. 
And as for thine activity in the day that that was born, thy neighbor was cut off. Was not, was not cut. Was not cut. Uh, neither wast thou washed in water to supply thee. Thou wast not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. None I pity thee to do any of these unto thee, to have a compassion on thee. But thou was cast out in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou was born. And when I passed by thee, now this is the Creator God walking upon the earth, and saw thee polluted in thy own blood, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live, yea, I said unto thee, when thou, when thou wast in thy blood, live. I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxen great. Thou art come to an exceedingly ointment. Thy breasts are fashioned, and thine hair is grown, whereas thou wast naked and bare. Now when I passed by thee, I looked upon thee. Behold, thy time was a time of love, and I spread thy skirt over thee, and I covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swore unto thee, and entered into a covenant with thee, and said, The Lord thy God, and thou became mine. When I washed thee, with water, yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. So what God is saying is, I found this little baby, and it still had its umbilical cord and all this blood. And he picked it up, he took it, and he cradled it, and he loved it, and he clothed it, and he trained it. To become his. Because he loved it. A little teeny tiny newborn. Like I was saying, I'm so sorry this is long. But this is the only way that I know how to do it. And I'm so sorry that I can't give it to you in small. But I am following my heart on what to do. Alright, let's go back to John. For those who still want to keep up with it and are very interested in it. We're on 25. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus saith unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world these things which I have heard. So in other words, Jesus Christ was out here saying, Hey, look, people. Satan's out here to steal, kill, and destroy you. You wouldn't believe what's in your food. You wouldn't believe what this is going on. You wouldn't. I mean, that's today's time. Because we are much deeper in it than Jesus was in it in his time. But he knew what was coming. And he tried to open people's eyes. But they would not open. Just like some of these people around here. They will not open. There's nothing. You are your father the devil. Alright, here we go. And they understood not what he spoke to them of the Father. Then he said unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ, then shall you know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me with me, the Father, hath not let, left me alone, for I do always the things that please him. So you should always do the things that pl pleases the Father. 
As he spoke these words, many believed on him. He woke up some people, but he did not wake them up. Uh, not all of them. It says many. So there's ten people there. Four people got woke up. Now that's my words. All right, then Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If he continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Let's go through this again. If you continue in my word, that's reading the Bible, talking to God, giving him praise, staying in his footstep, keeping the Ten Commandments, then ye are my disciples indeed. I am his disciple because I do these things and he knows I love him. And they answered him, We are Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. You are in bondage to your father. How saith thou, Ye shall be made free. He knew, this Pharisee knew that none of these people were free. And Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever. But the Son abideth forever. You're not going to abide forever. And your sin that you're doing is not going to last forever. But I will last forever. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Now remember I said, you will feel free. I know that ye are Abraham's seed. Everybody came from Abraham. But ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. These people want to kill you because they have no Jesus in them. Now, let's get a little bit more deeper here. You have no uh, feelings of you. You could sit and watch somebody else take a cat and pick it up by the nap of the neck and wring its neck off and it won't faze you. You will not cry over that. Or even a little baby. You will not cry because you just saw a soul being wasted away like that. You will not. You won't have any feelings. Let's go on. I know I'm getting in real deep, but I'm telling you how these people think and they feel. And I am on it. You may not think I am, but I am. Alright, I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which you have seen with your father. You were raised to be evil, and you're going to continue to be evil. I was raised to be kind and loving. And I'm going to and judge the people that needs to be judged. Or the things that needs to be judged. Not people, but the things. And they answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. And Jesus said unto him, If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. Now, Abraham loved God. But... How ye seek to kill me? A man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. All right, now let me explain to you about Abraham. I'm not going to look up no Bible verse, so I'm just going to explain. Now, Abraham came from the seed of Cain. But Abraham's eyes were open, and he seen what was happening, and he seen the true God. That's why come God said, pick up yourself, Abraham, and go. 
And then there him and Lot and his wife, Sarah, and all of them left. Okay? I could go into more. But Abraham was the seed of the devil. The serpent. However you want to look at it. But he said, no, I'm not living this way. He had a heart, a soul, a mind that said, I'm not doing this. Let's go on. All right. Uh, ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Look, my parents were married. I have a mother and a father. And I have a God. But which God is it? The one that mimics Jesus Christ and still stabs you in the back? You got to know which Jesus is which. There is many that come in my name. But they're not of me. Alright, let's see. And Jesus said unto him, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither come I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my words. I can tell you one thing and you will not hear me. You won't hear me because you do not want to see what is really going on. Have compassion for these people. I am trying my best to have compassion for these people. That want to ridicule me and everything. I love them. They don't know. They really don't know. Why do you think when Jesus went to the cross and he said, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Well, that's just like these people real carrying me and just stab, trying to stab me and whatever. You know, can you understand what I'm saying? That's the reason why. It's because I was crucified with Christ. I see what is going on. I see that they cannot see what is going on. Forgive them, Father. Let me open their eyes. Let them see the truth. I lost my place. Alright, I think I found it. Which of you com converteth me of convince... What? Okay. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's word. And he be therefore hear them not because you're not of God. Then answered the Jew and said unto them, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil? And Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father. And ye do honor me, or dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh thy judgment. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. So, you're going to die on this earth. You're made of the dust of the earth. And you're going to die of this earth. But now you're going to have... Uh, you're conscious. You're going to be able, able to see and hear and breathe and, and talk. And, and you're going to have all your senses. You're going to have every last sense you got. Burning in hell. There's gnashing of teeth. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to come to the end of this. There is a whole lot more. I'm not going into it. I'm going to quit now. And I am going to say this. Revelations 13. And this is where we are coming to, people. We're coming here. This CD is bringing it here. 
And he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. That no man might buy or sell he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So we are in the tribute of the we're not in the tribulation yet. We are in the uh let me think of the word pre trib. And we are going to go into the tribulation. But now I want to make this perfectly clear. I want to get out as much as I am able to get out. Because people need to know this. Because when this comes, and it's going to come before the tribulation, it will come out in the pre-trib. And during the pre-trib, most of you will probably get it. I can't pay my bills. I can't eat. My kids can't go to school. You come up with every excuse you can to do it. And when you do, I have no pity on your soul because you did it. You did it knowing that the Creator, Father God, said, do not do it. Your soul is at risk. And I hope and I pray you turn. But if you don't, I'm sorry you're going to be gnashing your teeth. Thank you very much for sticking with it and hearing it. And I love each and every one. And if I have to answer any questions, I'm sorry, but if it'll be long or if it'll be short, I will do what the Father asked me to do. That's all I can do. Hugs and kisses.